The Chromebooks came out on top because we really liked the way that the, the G Suite tools and Google Classroom worked, as well as the fact that the Chromebook had a keyboard. My focus was on providing a consistent infrastructure for schools across Highlands so that every school would actually have the same access to the digital tools. What we were lacking in was a more robust Wi-Fi, so an 18-month project took place to upgrade the Wi-Fi infrastructure across Highland Council prior to the Chromebook rollouts. So XMA have delivered over half a million Chromebooks across Scotland and the UK in total to schools and to colleges. Within Highland, that's around 22,000 devices, which is quite a significant number of devices, and that requires a really strong partnership to deal with the logistics and the everyday operation of making that happen for young people. One of the benefits of being the sole supplier uh, and the government framework for web and proprietary devices means that we've got access to technology stacks from every possible vendor. And that one of the beauties of that Scottish procurement framework is that we get to add great value to our local authorities who get the best price and the best kind of consultative services that we can possibly provide. Before uh, 2020, we were on a journey in Highland. So we were on that digital learning journey ourselves and so we were adopting, there were early adopters for the Chromebooks and uh, Google Workspace. Uh, March 23rd actually is the date that things changed. I think we had the systems and technology and teachers were using Google Classrooms, um, but literally that weekend and that first week, schools like Muirton worked exceptionally hard to ensure that there were Google Classrooms for their own particular classes, so they were used in a slightly different way, and that they were ready to teach virtually. So Muirton Primary School is a school in the sort of central area of Inverness. We have approximately 200 children in the school and 50 in the nursery. Creating a, a virtual online classroom was absolutely pivotal during the lockdown. We absolutely couldn't have done without that. It was our go-to space in the morning. It was our meeting point. We did our Google Meets directly from our Google Classroom. It was the hub for all of our content. Um, and it was completely instrumental in making our home learning a success. It makes the homework um, easier, like to just do it on your uh, Chromebook. Using digital tools within the classroom has really enhanced every part of our learning experience and the, the full life and ethos of the school. The children see it as fun. They don't necessarily realise that they're learning in it. Um, you know, one of our classes, they have got app designers and they make up games every week to reinforce their spelling games. It's really, it's really fun using Chromebooks and lessons. Quite like Google Docs and like slides, you know, those are handy. Because you can like animate on them and add and paste images. Like right now we're using them for an Anne Frank diary. Lots of the Google tools that we used at a distance, we now use to greater effect possibly in the classroom. Things like Jamboard for collaborating on ideas, things like sharing and collaborating on Google Slides. These are things that we use every day. Children share achievements using Google Forms, so if they've learned to ride a bike, they can upload a video of it and we can see it at our assemblies. Well, one of the great things about Google is it offered the right breadth and depth for what Highland were trying to achieve, which is we're anytime, anywhere learning. Highland were really clever, they recognised very early on the power of the cloud. I think for teachers, I think it's been a really good way to develop their own practice. I think that it's given them the opportunity to develop skills that they'll need for life and work in the 21st century. Being a digital leader means you have to be good with Chromebooks and knowing how to operate them. So um, I'm in Chris Club and that and Chris stands for Cyber Resilience Internet Safety and we keep people safe online. Another really important part of what we've done over the past years with the Chromebook Roller is to offer online safety support. Um, I'm one of the very few people in Scotland who have been given that dedicated responsibility to support children and for us from the very start of the Chromebook rollout it was really important that children not only had the tools but also had the support to make sure they were safe. We manage the Google Console ourselves within an education as opposed to corporate IT. So the Digital Learn Highland provides a number of Google Forms uh, for people to log calls and also get self-help. So one of the things is a password reset tool, so any teacher can reset students' passwords. Google Classroom during COVID and lockdown was absolutely essential for that communication with pupils and for teachers to be able to actually share work in a meaningful way. 
Another example is Google Sites that we've used for profiling, which goes all the way from the earliest stage in primary one, so five-year-olds, all the way through to S6s with 17-year-olds, and they use it in different ways. So in S6, S5, S4, they're using it to create a digital profile that could almost become a digital CV when they go to apply for a job or go to university. And we created something called the Highland Digital Schools Hub. It's a Google site and it was for everybody. It was for parents, carers, educators, families, and it was about digital learning, digital skills, and high quality professional learning. We all have a responsibility to make sure our young people can secure the future. So for us, it starts around the equity piece. And one of the things that COVID exposed was a real digital skills gap and a digital access gap for young people. So one of our jobs and our responsibilities is to make sure where we can, we engage with schools and local authorities to make sure kids have got access to those devices and to make sure they've got access to their future. As a council, um, we are embracing new ways of working and we're really proud of what we've done. Um, and we've worked tirelessly to support our communities across Highland. We've also supported communities across Scotland as well to share um, what we've learned.